at Ford Field. It's empty. Usually it's rocking. I can't wait. I'm here. Four more years. It's up. It's turned. Detroit, what up though? The Detroit Lions and star wide receiver Amon Ross St. Brown just agreed to a massive contract extension making him the highest paid wide receiver when it comes to yearly averages. The Lions, after years of having nothing but failure and being stuck in the mud, not having any success finally started to find their identity as a team and organization over the last few seasons. And all of this started when the Lions hired Dan Campbell to be their head coach and they also hired a new general manager who took over for the team in 2021, the same season Dan Campbell was hired as the head coach, under the new owner who took over in the summer of 2020. The Lions have been rebuilding for about 60 years and wasted the talents of Matthew Stafford, Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders and a lot more in the process of doing so. But the hiring of head coach Dan Campbell and general manager Brad Holmes under a new owner would change everything for the Lions organization. And part of the Lions recent success came in part of trading away quarterback Matthew Stafford to the Los Angeles Rams. Going into the 2021 season, when the Lions received two first round picks, two second round picks, and two third round picks in quarterback Jared Goff in return for Matthew Stafford. And this trade would change the Lions franchise forever. With the draft picks the Lions received from the LA Rams, they turned those draft picks into young stars like Jamison Williams, Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, Broderick Martin, Josh Paschal, and a few other guys in the process as well. Then on top of that, the Detroit Lions with their own draft picks got Aiden Hutchinson in 2022 and Brian Branch and Panay Sewell. So since the new front office took over in 2020 and 2021 with Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes under a new owner, the draft picks in the drafting has been outstanding for the Lions. And then of course it helps when you have multiple first round picks, multiple second round picks that you got in a trade for a star quarterback. The Detroit Lions used this trade from Matthew Stafford in the draft to actually rebuild their team, but one name we didn't mention on that list who has played the biggest role out of anyone on that team in the last few seasons for the Lions was drafted in 2021 in the fourth round when the Lions took a wide receiver on Monroe St. Brown out of USC. And little did they know that this dude was going to be one of the biggest NFL up and coming stars in the league and now has solidified himself as one of the best in the business. Since being drafted, Amon or St. Brown has only gotten better every single season, and rarely do you get that kind of production out of a fourth round pick, let alone a wide receiver. Every year, Amon or St. Brown's production in targets, receptions, yards, touchdown, all of it has only gotten better since he was drafted and his chemistry with Jared Goff has only gotten stronger. And if you ask me, I think Amon or St. Brown might be this decade's Michael Thomas. Amon or St. Brown isn't the biggest guy, but their playing styles are very similar. They both dominate the short to middle part of the field. They both can get you lots of yards after the catch. They can both make tough catches. And when I look at what Amon or St. Brown has done in his first three seasons of the NFL, and when you look at what Michael Thomas did in the first four seasons of his NFL career, they look pretty similar. And I mean, those starts have just been insane. And speaking of which, Amon or St. Brown is also one of only three players in NFL history to have 90 or more catches in the first three seasons of someone's career, joining Odell Beckham and who would you guess, Michael Thomas. St. Brown is coming off his third season of the NFL where he had 1,500 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns on 119 receptions. A ridiculous stat line if you ask me. And this made him one of the most productive players and receivers in the NFL in 2023 while also earning a first team all pro and a few pro bowls in the process of doing so. So after a huge 2023 season in which the Lions made the NFC Championship game and Amon or St. Brown played a huge role in getting them there and in that game, contract talks started to begin between the two sides. It wasn't mandatory for the Lions and St. Brown to get a deal done this offseason because he does have one more year left on his rookie contract, but it is always smart to be a year ahead of things when it comes to re-signing and extending young star players. And the Lions got an early start on that and got a deal done now, especially after St. Brown skipped the first day of Detroit's voluntary workouts this offseason while waiting to get a new contract extension done. These are voluntary workouts, so it's not that big of a deal, but it is something to keep an eye on as he was sending a message to the team that, hey, I want to be paid and I want to be paid now. And in this process, it also shows that unless it's mandatory, he's not going to show up. And luckily, the Lions listened and they paid him now. 
because the price for Amon or St. Brown and a new contract extension a year from now might have been even higher than what they just paid him. The two sides in the Lions and Amon or St. Brown just agreed to a 40-year, $120 million deal with $77 million in total guarantees for the young star wide receiver. St. Brown will now be making more than $30 million per season, making him the highest paid receiver in the league when it comes to annual yearly averages. And when you look at the wide receiver market right now, it is freaking broken. Especially after the recent contract extensions that Eagles wide receiver Devontae Smith just received and Jerry Judy received from the Cleveland Browns, the price for a lot of guys went up after these deals broke. And now the price for other receivers around the league who are looking for a new deal also went up like Justin Jefferson in Minnesota, who most certainly is going to break the bank and be the highest paid receiver maybe in NFL history. Then you have Cowboys star wide receiver CeeDee Lane, who was probably the second best wide receiver in the league last season. He is also due for a big payday soon and this contract extension from a modern St. Brown just raised his price as well. And the same goes for Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase, who is also looking for a contract extension. And the price for star wide receiver Brandon Ayuk also just went up and there's been some tension between him and the San Francisco 49ers front office and this will only make things harder to get a deal done between Ayuk and the front office. So it was very smart for the Lions to get this deal done now especially after those Jerry Judy and Devontae Smith contract extensions. And getting this extension done before other big name guys around the league like CD Lamb, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and Brandon Ayuk is the perfect scenario for the Lions because now they won't have to break the bank to keep Amon or St. Brown in Detroit. The Lions just set the new standard for the wide receiver market as opposed to being a victim of it by getting an early jump this offseason and signing Amon or St. Brown. And from the point of view of Amon or St. Brown, he gets his money a year early and on top of that he gets to stay in a place where he's called home for the last few seasons, gets to stay in Detroit and on top of that the Lions are so close to a Super Bowl so he gets to stay probably where he wanted to be all along all while getting his money a year early. And now he won't have to worry about going through the free agent process next offseason. He's set until about 2028. So St. Brown gets to stay in Detroit and can continue to establish his role on the Lions who has some unfinished business after 2023. To me, this is a very fair deal for both the Lions and Amon or St. Brown given what the market is. This is probably what he was going to get paid when you look around the league, see what other players are getting paid, what other players are about to get paid. This is fair. When it comes to guarantees, I think that's fair. But when you look at what he's making yearly, maybe he's not the highest paid guy, but it is what it is. That's just what the league has come to. And literally, as I'm editing and recording this video, the Lions made yet another move. They signed All-Pro Offensive Tackle Panay Sewell to a four-year $112 million contract extension, which now makes him the new highest-paid offensive lineman in the NFL. And the deal includes $85 million in total guaranteed money, well-deserving for a guy who's solidified himself as one of the best offensive linemen in the league. The Lions are having a field day today, getting deals done with a Monroe St. Brown and now offensive tackle Panay Sewell. And Amon Ross St. Brown isn't the only Lion who could get a contract extension this offseason as quarterback Jared Goff could also be getting a contract extension from the Lions very soon, keeping Goff and St. Brown together after establishing a dynamic and deadly duo since 2021 would be in the organization's best interest, especially after being so close to reaching the Super Bowl last season. And this Amon Ross St. Brown extension comes only a day before the NFL Draft, one of the biggest NFL events of the year. And now the Lions will look to build more pieces around their team on Thursday to get back to where they were in 2023 and try and get a Super Bowl. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.